What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric Smells and thank you for joining me here again today. In today's video, I kind of wanted to do another product review slash styling video like before. Um, but I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit more casual this time around. Uh, you know, now that the weather is getting a lot better, a lot of us are going to be hiking, trail running, you know, that kind of shit. So just wanted to do something in that spirit. And um, whenever I wear these guys out, I get a lot of questions about them. Um, so I just decided, you know, why not do a video about them and just so I can show everybody that. So without further ado, I'm going to be reviewing for you guys the, wait, give me a sec, the Solomon XT4 in the mulberry colorway. Yeah, super dope. Um, as well as the XT6 Advance in this uh, lemon green colorway. So I'm going to be doing some closer shots of both of them. Um, then at the end, I'm going to do a little bit of styling just to show you guys how I personally would wear them. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, and let's take a closer look at the X-T4. So first thing that pops up is that kind of carbon fiber shine to it um, found all along the shoe. Such a dope little touch. We got a reinforced toe cap. It's a little bit more durable rubber. So, you know, whenever you're out and about, that area does take a lot of damage. So it's good to have that reinforced. Got a single layer mesh under that. Super breathable. And that kind of carbon fiber shine is actually a TPU, um, a abrasion proof film so you know whenever you're out on the trails um, you don't really got to worry about babying these you know getting rocks all over it so you can definitely take a little bit of punishment um, moving on to the back got that same um, reinforced rubber that was found on the toe cap and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the technology I'm gonna admit you know I'm a poser I'm a city boy I'm not really familiar with this hiking technology so if you um, know anything more about it you know hit me up in the comments let me know um, just kind of showing you how, how comfortable it is on the inside here. And then moving on to probably my favorite part of the shoe is this um, quick lace system. Um, it's almost like a similar to like an infinity loop system. So you never actually have to tie your shoes or anything like that. Um, all you got to do is it has this little like device, this little pinching area that you kind of like you just pinch together. And then when you're ready to kind of um, tighten that up, you just hold that in and then pull that up and that kind of fastens the whole shoe. So super quick and easy. Um, if you're out there um, kind of trail running, you know, you don't really got to worry about your shoes um, becoming undone and stuff like that. So just kind of showing you how easy it is to just make it loose. Um, and when we pinch it again, you know, you just tighten it up. Um, since these are new, they're kind of a little bit of a pain, but um, and in case you're wondering, you know, what am I going to do with this like kind of flapping, you know, this area kind of flapping around it's actually got a little pocket um you know lace stash where you can actually once you got your desired tightness or looseness um you can actually just kind of tuck that in there and it becomes invisible nobody will even know that um, this is what the system is so just kind of demoing that super dope um, and actually most solomons do have that kind of feature so if you got another pair it doesn't necessarily have to be this one definitely has that tech so boom so look at that if you want that kind of cleaner look, um, you can definitely do that. I'll kind of compare the two. I personally, since you know I'm not really trail running or nothing like that, just out in the city, I kind of like it dangling around. Looks a little bit, you know, kind of that tech wearish kind of vibe. So, then just moving on to that front. Um, most of this, like the Salmon Lab stuff, was gonna have this kind of blue and red kind of stripe going along it too. So, is what I've noticed for some of them. Uh, and then finally, that kind of, um, I think it's a Contra grip. So Chevron, you know, tires, grip. Um, super, super durable out into trails. So super dope, guys.
Okay, now let's take a closer peek at the XT6s in this lemon lime-ish colorway. So honestly, there's not a whole lot of differences um, from the XT4. One of the main ones that I saw was instead of having that like reinforced toe cap, um, it's got that kind of solid film all along the toe. So definitely a little bit lightweight compared to the four. Um, still that single layer mesh under that. Um, and just to let you know, this is the, um, from both of these really, it's the Salmon Lab line. So I'd say it's more geared more towards like trail running was the main focus in mine. So, but I find that it works pretty well in the city, you know, just cruising around and any kind of debris and shit like that. I can probably just kind of cruise over. So pretty similar again. Just showing you the same details. It's got that blue and red um, stripe found along that. Um, and then the, uh, once again, the quick lace system, which again, I do love and I will demo again. Um, super easy. Got that pocket under there, like I said before. Just gonna demo that one more time. And honestly, it's just like, you know, I've had an older pair before that I've taken running and it's just like, <laughs> It's a breeze in and out. Usually when I get them in like brand new though, they're gonna be a little bit tighter to kind of do so. But after a once in a while, they'll, they'll loosen up and you'll be able to do that. So so yeah, guys, that's the uh, X-T6 um, in the lemon lime colorway. Thanks again. I realize how kind of redundant this was compared to the, the four, but you know, aesthetic differences is mainly what I noticed, so. I also wanted to compare the two just side by side, um, give you a closer look yourself. So honestly, man, it looks like the four just off the bat is just like a little bit has more tech behind it and more durable versus I feel like the six is truly like a, it's light, more lightweight. Um, you can even tell on the, look, the ton is a little bit comfier, kind of fatter on the four compared to the six. It's just a little lightweight, you know, just made for running, trail running would be my guess so um even like the racing stripes a little bit different but yeah guys like i'm even trying to like look for other differences in the shoe it's just like you know they're all kind of like the the tech is listed more so on the sixes like a race car or something all the sponsorships and shit but um on the four it's a little bit more subtle i guess so but yeah, guys, just mainly aesthetic, you know, aesthetic differences is kind of what I noticed. So take your pick. Can't go wrong with either, honestly. So for the first outfit, I got the XT6s on foot. I got some Nike ACG trail shorts. And my top is a post-archive faction um, anorak. So kind of wanted to do more of a gorpy kind of outfit, you know, hiker core. Something that I'm going to be wearing this most likely out on the trails with. Um, for I'm trail running or just, you know, taking a walk out there too. So keeping it simple. So for the second outfit, I'm going to have the XT6s on foot. I got some thrifted Arcteryx um, pants from the 2000s. I got a story pullover. And to top it off, I got a capital bucket hat. So definitely more of a city boy fit, you know, something that I'm going to be wearing this casually with. So yeah. Shoe stack, everybody. Ooh, boy, if I get this on camera. Alrighty, fam. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed the product shots, the styling videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link, um, you know, you can still find these in plenty of colors and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and link those in the description. Um, all my socials and stuff are going to be linked down there, too. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you again for joining me. And until the next time, peace out. <laughs> Look at this. Fuck a money phone. Oh! Damn it, you guys. I always forget to mention this, but I am going to be selling the Mulberry Green. So I'll go ahead and link that in my grailed. So if you guys have any questions or concerns about them, you know, just hit me up about it. Um, I'm more than welcome to help you guys with any kind of measurement questions or more pictures if you need. So cool, guys. Peace.